Hey there, Stampers. Happy Friday. Welcome to this week's Facebook Live, um, where I'm going to share a fun heat embossing technique. Okay, I'm just updating my iPad. I've got some new products here that I wanted to share a little peek at with you as well, because I'm super excited about them. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. All right. Okay, let's get this set up here. Okay, so before we get started, I have two cards to give away. So these are from, I did two Facebook Lives last week, and um, one of them was using the Fond of Autumn bundle, and we created this fun background. And then one of them was um, sharing some kind of vintage um, or rustic kind of ideas or ways that you could create a rustic look on your project. So I drew from all the comments and the shares. So thank you so much for commenting and sharing on my videos. I appreciate all of them. And the lucky winner for this card is Gail Bueller. And the lucky winner for this card is Layla Appleford. So thank you so much for late ladies for commenting and sharing. Remember to do the same in today's video. I will pop these in the mail for you. Okay, and then I wanted to share a peek at this new bundle. So if you watch my weekly video videos, you've heard me talk about this. Well, I got this in this week and I love, love, love this collection. Um, so it's called the Fitting Florets Collection. It's available to customers November 1st to January 4th. However, this bundle, or while supplies last, I should say, this bundle, so this framed florets and these gorgeous dies, absolutely gorgeous dies, these will be in the next mini catalog, which um, goes from January to June of next year. Okay, so this bundle's carrying over. These supplies will be available until January 4th or while supplies last. And I'll share a little peek at those. So available to customers beginning November 1st. Um, however, it is available to demonstrators right now as a pre-order. And, and like all pre-order products, if you decide to purchase the starter kit this month and take advantage of the starter kit plus promotion, where you get to choose $206 worth of product, and only pay $135 and no shipping, you can include this in your starter kit. The entire package, which I'll share with you in just a moment, is $134.75. But if there's you know, something that you don't want in here, um, then you can pick and choose the items. So you don't necessarily have to get the entire collection. Okay, so let me share what is included in the collection. So of course there is this framed florets bundle. So this is the one that will be found in the next mini catalog. So it's, I love, I love it when they come out with st stamp sets with fonts that are like a combination of greetings and every single one of these greetings I would use. And I always love stamp sets that ha that do that. Because you know, sometimes you get a stamp set and there's a couple of greetings in there that just, it, it's very specific. You, ha it has, you have to give it to a very, um, specific person, whereas these you could give to so many different people. So I love that. And then look at these dies. So these frames could be used with so many other stamp sets. And then of course there's some images that coordinate with the stamp set or yeah, that coordinate with the stamp set. And then they came out with this additional stamp set. It's called Framed and Festive. So it is a holiday themed stamp set. Because when we look at the DSP, you'll see that there is some, there are some patterns that actually could be used for holiday projects. And of course, you can combine those greetings with these fabulous oval frames as well. Okay. All right. That's that. Then there are these gold adhesive back swirls. And let me bring this up a little closer so you can see that beautiful swirl pattern on there. So pretty. And then the DSP. Love, love, love the DSP. So I'll share this side. So this is one of the ones that you could use for the holidays. I think this one could pass for a holiday theme pat pattern as well. We've got some florals, we've got some pinks. Love the green gingham, which again, that could pass as a holiday pattern. 
and then we flip it over. This is one of my favorites. So we've got a couple pinks here, some greens, some blues. This one reminds me of this. I think this one will be a great like wintry birthday pattern. Don't you think? I just love the combination of blues and greens in this pattern. Again, this one's pretty generic. This one again could be used for the holidays. So there's several different patterns that you could use to still create holiday projects um, with this fabulous bundle. Okay, so that will be available to customers beginning November 1st um, and is available to pre-order for demonstrators right now. Um, let's see, and just to give you a heads up, for those of you who like to participate in my classes to go, um, Laura and I are focusing on that bundle for our class to go in November. Okay, and then the other thing I wanted to share with you before we get into our crafty project is this new kit. So first of all, love the box. I love the boxes that our, our kits come in, come in, this craft box that can be used for so many things afterwards. Uh, so this is the birthday organizer kit. And um, I just ordered one right now, but I will be ordering more because this kit seriously is such a great gift idea. It's got, it, the value of it is absolutely fabulous. Okay, so I wanted to check out the quality because like the, at a price point of $34 here in Canada, this is a fabulous deal because not only do you get the card organizer, but you get the supplies to create 12 cards, 12 cards. So like seriously, this is the best gift idea. Um, and so at a price point of $35 or $34, I was worried about the quality, but I should not have been because it is fabulous. So the organizer comes, it's coil bound, it's got nice thick rings, so you've got lots of room to stuff this full of cards. It's got this beautiful cover, which, um, you know, I can't leave a plain co a cover plain, so I will be doing some some sort of embellishing on the front. I, I apologize if you can hear the dinging. My daughter is texting me. <laughs> Um, okay, and then on the inside cover and the back cover, there are additional pockets, so you can slide some extra cards in those pockets. You can personalize your little nameplate here. And then there is a pocket for each month, so you can tuck in the cards that you need for each month, and then you can document whose birthday is on, on what day. Okay, and then of course there are stickers that you can use to indicate each month. and there's lots of different languages. And then there are the supplies to create 12 cards. And this is a no stamping kit. So if you wanted to give this as a gift, it is simple enough that, I mean, nobody needs, nobody needs to have any kind of crafting experience. Um, not that you need any kind of crafting experience when you, it's a stamping kit, but sometimes a little bit of guidance is helpful. But for this, you just peel and stick and add a few dimensionals here and there. It is so easy. So you get the supplies to create six of each of these two cards. One of them is florally, but then the other one is very generic. Um, and then you get envelopes with it as well. So it sets the receiver up to get a good start. So there are the envelopes. I love the gingham pattern one. And then diagonal stripes. Here are the background or the card bases, and then you've got all the pieces. So you've got those, those just pop out and then you use your dimensionals to adhere them. There's some sequence on there. Here are your greetings, some more greetings, and then a little band, and then you get some uh, tear and tape in the kit as well. So for $35, this is seriously the best deal. So I will be definitely picking up a few of these and using them over the holidays. Um, okay, and then the last thing I wanted to chat with you about, so much going on right now, is a next month's paper pumpkin kit. So next month's paper pumpkin kit is holiday themed tags, and there is an add-on. You can get these, uh, what are they called? I don't think the name is on here. It doesn't say what the name is, but they're little paper bags. Um, yeah, I don't think it says what the bag, what it is, but you get, I think it's 12 bags for $5.50. You do need to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber in order to add on the bags. Um, and this kit will coordinate with 
um, the kit that just finished and will be shipped soon. Uh, so I ordered a package of the bags because I have an idea that I think I might combine either combine both kits or use for one or the other kits. Um, I'm thinking like a little mini album would really be, be really cute, but these are food safe. So if you do some baking or if you want to include some treats, uh, they can be included in those little paper bags. Okay. All right. Now let's get on to today's crafty project. I am going to use, we're going to do Christmas. So I've done fall, lots and lots of fall over the last few weeks. So today we're going to focus on Christmas and probably for the most part. Um, for a little while it will be Christmas so we're gonna use the sweet candy canes bundle and I'm gonna share a fun technique with you let's start let's start with the technique okay so I'm gonna bring in my stamparatus because this is really the most the, the best way to do this the easiest way I should say okay and I'm pulling out the two candy canes now our stamp apparatus is our stamp positioning tool. Um, it, it's so great for lots of different things. I have several videos using the stamp apparatus and showing you different ways to use it up on my YouTube channel. You can always check those out. Okay, so I'm pulling out the stuff that I need. Gotta grab my cardstock. So I've got a couple scraps of white cardstock here because we're gonna do some stamping. Now, I don't know if you've ever wanted um, kind of an embossed look, but not had the right color embossing powder. I love the look of embossing. Making sure this fits on here. We'll use the magnet to hold it in place, our cardstock in place. We're gonna close this up. Okay. Um, so I love the look of embossing. I love that that shiny look and if it's if you've used like gold or silver or copper you get that metallic look. I just love that. But sometimes I want that look and I don't have the right color of embossing powder. So this is a way to get around that. Okay so let me just make sure that I've got everything handy here. Okay so I'm going to start with some garden green ink. And I've got one of my candy canes on here and I'm just gonna ink this up. I like to put a stamp case underneath my plate so that it is level. It makes it easier to ink. I find if it's at an angle, then I get ink all over the spine of this. Not that it's a big deal, it wipes right off. So I'm just gonna apply even pressure, lift it up, and you know what, it could be a little bit darker. I'm gonna go just one more time. And it is like these candy canes, if you look at the image, um, they are a little variegated, like they're not a solid candy cane. Okay, all right. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close up my green I'm going to clean my stamp. So I'm just going to take my chamois, give it a wipe. So let's just make sure it's all nice and clean. Okay, and then I'm going to bring in my Versamark ink. And because I have not moved my stamp, it will stamp in exactly the same position. So it's gonna stamp right over top. Now our ink is dye based, so it dries really quickly. So you can't just pour clear embossing powder over top and have it stick. So you need that extra layer of something on here so that it's got something for the embossing powder to stick to. So I'm gonna use some clear or some Versamark ink And then I'm going to remove this. I'm going to bring in my clear embossing powder. Dump that on. And I'll dump the rest of this back in here. 
and then we're going to heat it up. Actually, I should put the lid back on this embossing powder before I turn on my heat tool. So you'll see it'll start to change here. It'll go from a powdery look to a beautiful embossed. And look at that. So now we have this beautiful garden green embossed candy cane. So that is how you can get an embossed look in any in any of our Stampin' Up! colors. And look how beautiful that is. So you don't need to have a lot of different colors as long as you have a stamp positioning tools. <laughs> yeah, tweezers, tweezers would be smart. But you know what, it's not too bad because it's a big enough piece. So there we go. We've got that beautiful embossed candy cane look. So I'm gonna repeat that process with some sweet sorbet. So let's just clean this stamp first. So for those of you who are joining in a little bit late and missed it, I'll walk you through the same process. Let's put this candy cane away because I want the candy cane that goes in, oh, my stamp set is right here, the other direction. Okay, so we'll put our scrap paper down. Put our candy cane on there and we're gonna repeat the process. So this time I'm gonna use sweet sorbet. Ink that up. Stamp it down, make sure it's the color that I want. You know what, I'm gonna make it just a titch darker. So let's ink that up again. And then We'll clean our stamp. It's really important to clean your stamp in between, obviously, because you don't want to get all that sweet sorbet ink on your Versamark pad. And then we'll ink it up with Versamark. Down. So now we've got that sticky ink that we need. Let's pop this over here. We'll bring back our embossing powder. Set that aside. And then we'll heat this one up and we'll have a beautiful sweet sorbet, shiny candy cane. Okay. All right, so now we've got two nice and shiny embossed candy canes. All right, so let's go ahead and do the rest of our, create the rest of our card here. Okay, so I've done, pre-done a couple things. So I've got a three and three quarter inch by five inch piece of white cardstock that I've gone ahead and I've embossed using the painted texture embossing folder. Okay, and then I've gone ahead and cut the second largest circle from the Stylish Shapes dies. 
So the second largest one from some pool party cardstock. Okay, so we are going to, before we get started on putting our project together, we're gonna do some die cutting. And we still have a couple more things to stamp as well. All right, so let's pull out the dies for our candy canes. Now in, that, in this die set, you get these dies, but then you also get this fabulous background die set, or die piece as well, which is like a card front size. So I'm gonna bring in this and my plates. Oh, a clothespin to hold what you're embossing. That's a good idea too. I have tweezers sitting right beside me. Um, I just, I'm often a lazy stamper. So I just, I make do with what I have, even though it's at arm's reach. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of washi tape to hold this in place because we went to all that effort to stamp this beautiful image that we do not want our die to move. Pop that on there. Put my washi tape right across. Should be good now. Add my top plate and feed that through. And I'll do the same thing for our sweet sorbet candy cane. Oops. You know, I, Kim, I wouldn't have thought of it as a, as a, a Christmas color either. However, um, the idea came to me because there is a little bit of sweet sorbet in the, the DSP that is part of this collection. So that's where I got the idea from. Okay. I find it's a little bit more of a, almost like a, I don't know if it's like a pinky red. It's just, it's a different shade of red. I actually quite like it. Okay, pop that on there. Feed that through. And I think that's the last of the embossing that we need to do. Or embossing, die cutting that we need to do. So we can pop, put this away. Oh, I love those. They look so nice, all nice and shiny like that. Ugh. All right. Okay, let's set our dies aside. And we're gonna bring in our another scrap of white and we're gonna stamp the greeting that says Merry and Bright. I'm gonna stamp it in Memento Ink. And we'll leave that out for a moment. We're gonna take our card base. And so it's just a piece of thick white cardstock. Standard size card base. And I'm gonna use the greeting, may the good times of today become the cherished memories of tomorrow. Ink that up. And stamp it on the inside of my card. And then I'm also going to take the leaf image that is part of this stamp set and some garden green ink. And I'm going to stamp a few of these. I love this stamp. I love how there's a solid bit and then I'll bring it up so it's a little closer and then some softer colors, like just the variation that you get. I tell you, stamps have really come around and progressed since um, since I first started stamping. There's just so much more dimension on a stamp image than there ever used to be. Okay, so I've got my embossed piece of cardstock. We're gonna add that 
to the center of our white card base. So we have this nice thicker border. And then we're gonna add our pool party circle in the center. And then we're going to add our candy canes and I'm going to use some dimensionals for our candy canes. Actually, let's use some mini dimensionals, which I have here somewhere. Okay, so we're going to do our candy canes like this. So let's grab pick your pick tool. And I always find it easier when you first start these dimensional sheets to pick these off with a take your pick tool. Okay, this guy's going to go underneath so we can do a few more dimensionals. We'll put three on this one. at an angle kind of like that and then this guy it's going to rest over top like that and look at those candy canes oh love it all right and then I've gone ahead and I've taken some of the garden green ribbon that is part of this collection. So it comes with a spool of garden green and a spool of real red. So I chose to use the garden green. Just trim that down and we'll use a mini glue dot to adhere this. Actually before we do that, what I did was I took my snips and I fussy cut this out. We're going to pop this up. So I'm going to use a little, just some little pieces. Just because it's pretty thin. So we'll add one here. And one here. And I'm not going to add a dimensional on this side because it's going to sit on top of where the candy canes are already raised up. So I'll just put a little dot of multi-purpose glue on this side. And then we'll flip this over. And we'll add our greeting on here. We'll grab a mini glue dot. that on here and add our bow. Okay, and then the last step is just to add a little bit of bling. So I have some of the seasonal sequence here and we're gonna add some red ones or sweet sorbet. Oops. couple down here and another one up here. All right, and our card is done. Let me bring it up a little closer so you can see. So look at those candy canes. Doesn't it just step up the card? Just having those shiny, I don't know, it's not showing, oh well, in some of the light you can kind of see it. Just those beautiful, shiny, candy canes. It just steps it up and it's really not that much more difficult. It was one, well two extra steps I guess, stamping the Versamark and then sprinkling it with heat, uh, with regular clear powder. So here is the first one that I did. So this one is just stamped in sweet sorbet and garden green and what I did for this one is, again I don't know how well it's showing up, but I used my Wink of Stella and on the wider white bits, I added a little bit of Wink of Stella. So there is a little bit of shimmer on this one, 
But look at the difference. These candy canes just pop off the page, don't you think? Love, love, love it. All right, so that's what I have to share with you for today. I just wanted to remind you that there's still time to sign up for my sampler class where we'll be creating this. You can get all the supplies to go. It includes everything except the stamped images. Um, so I will link to, actually there in a, is an events link in the description. So you can just click on that events link. You'll find all the information there. I'd love to have you join us. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and I encourage you to try embossing in any of your ink colors. And if you do, be sure to tag me if you're sharing on social media or send me a photo of what you created. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous weekend and I will see you next week. Take care, bye guys.